Hello, I'm Robin Worley and welcome to Lenscraft. Today I want to share a very quick technique for creating black and white conversions in Photoshop. It's a bit old school, but it still works really well. To demonstrate, I'm going to use this image. Now the first thing to do is start by selecting the channels window. And if your channels window isn't visible, you can select it from the windows menu. You can now check each of the channels in the image to see if any of these actually make a nice black and white image. I don't like the blue channel, but the green channel isn't bad and the best channel is actually red. This makes quite a nice black and white conversion on its own. To create a black and white conversion or image from this that matches the channel, select the image mode grayscale option from the menu. When you see this warning message, it's asking you to confirm that you want to discard the other channels. So just click OK on the button and you're now left with a single grayscale channel that represents the image. Now you can convert it back to a black and white image by selecting the image mode RGB from the menu. And that creates three identical channels that match the image. You can now perform any further adjustments that you want to make. Now with this image, I'm probably going to add a curves adjustment to give it a little bit more impact. And that's the image finished. Now let's take this a step further. It's actually possible to blend two of the channels together to create an entirely new channel and that might actually give you an even better black and white conversion. I'll demonstrate this now with the red and green channels. As before we select the channels window. Next we select the image calculation option from the menu. When the dialogue's displayed select the red channel and the green channel. And you can also set the bland mode. These work exactly the same way as they do in the layers channel, sorry, the layers window. Right now for this, I'm going to pick the soft light mode. When you come to do this with your image, you should really experiment with some of the different modes and also this opacity setting here. Finally, I'm going to set the results to be saved to a new channel in this file. Now when I click OK, the alpha channel is created here. This is the result of blending together those two channels. This is then converted to a grayscale, which is held as this RGB channel. I can now finish off as before. Again, I can add further adjustments with a curves adjustment. Although this is quite a, a crude technique, it can produce some very, very good results very quickly. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon.